I'm Alicia and this is Healthy Humane Living and today we're going to be making butternut squash soup. I found this soup recipe after I visited a restaurant called Charlie Palmer's and had some of the best food I've ever had in my whole entire life. So when I went home, what did I do? I went to Google and started looking up Charlie Palmer and recipes and I stumbled across this butternut squash soup recipe and it's one of the best soups I've ever had in my entire life. I've had to veganize it, but I hope you enjoy it as as much as I do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take about uh, three quarters cup of onions and we're going to put those into, let me get help my spatula out, into a pot and we're just going to, we're going to start sweating these. Okay and I make my life really easy. I buy the uh, frozen onions from Trader Joe's. They're already chopped up for me so no tears for me at all, Argentina. And we're just going to uh, sweat these in the, the pot. Okay, so I've been stirring the onions and I also added one and a half cloves of garlic to this um, so that now it's tender. And now I'm gonna add a package of the cubed butternut squash to the pan. And we're gonna, we're gonna sweat that uh, for two or three minutes and I'm gonna stir it constantly as I do so. And so the next step is a little unusual. And what I'm gonna do is I have a, a frozen banana from my, my freezer, obviously I've let it thaw. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons of maple syrup to it. So I was a little you know, squeamish, whoever heard of putting banana in soup. Uh, before, but you want to lick that, clean that, all that out, and I'm going to lick my finger. I'm going to stir it all up, and then I'm going to add the banana in there, and I'm going to clean this whole thing out because you want to get all that maple syrup goodness out of the bowl. So we're going to mix that up. And we're also gonna add, I've got about, I don't know, oh, that, that bump was my dog hitting the tripod. Um, I've got some fresh sage here, so I'm gonna put, I think about eight leaves in there, approximately maybe a half a tablespoon or something like that. I'm gonna put that in there and um, stir it up and let it heat for another two minutes or so. Okay, so the next thing to do is add a pinch of cinnamon. So I'm gonna add that in there. And then the recipe calls for vegetable broth, but um, I thought we had some, but it was actually chai. So I'm using water. I've, done, had to, I've used water before. And you, uh, it calls for six cups, but you start out just by barely covering uh, the squash. And we're just gonna let this simmer until it's tender. All of the butternut squash is nice and tender, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start putting it into the blender ever so carefully. All right, so I've got to start out nice and slow because this is pretty, my blender's pretty full. And this is the smaller Vitamix. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to start out nice and slow and puree this. All right, so I'm just going to take the lid off. And just show you what it looks like. It looks really beautiful and caramelly, and it smells just beautiful. My house smells amazing. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of it into this soup bowl. Make sure to don't get any drips. And you know, I've already salt and peppered it to taste, and it might need a little bit more. But this just has an amazing, 
sweet and savory taste. Um, I am going to add a little more salt and pepper to it, but give it a try. It's, it's no oil cooking and it's super easy to do. It took about 10 minutes to, to put everything together and another 10 minutes to get uh, the, uh, the butternut squash soft. And uh, you saw how quickly it took to put it all in the blender. Anyway, I hope that you will give it a try because it's one of my favorites and it's a really easy thing to batch cook, especially if you're like me and you're the only one in your house who eats, uh, who eats healthfully. Anyway, enjoy. My name's Alicia and thanks for watching Healthy Humane Living.